Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, yeah, last year, obviously. And Ryan, Ryan, great to have you on yet again, mate. Uh, yeah. Going to be talking about MK Don, but before I do, I just want to uh, give a few shout outs to a few people and some sponsors that have already been in contact with us. First of all, I want to thank the Ipswich Town fans for well, quite a few comments on uh, the last video of the 5,000, I think it's yeah, five, yeah. Five and, nearly 5.5k five views. Uh, very complimentary Ipswich Town. Uh, so they were well balanced. They love the debates, they love the honesty. Uh, call it as it was, you know, even they were calling out referee. Um, and I think it's always a good tech when you get away fans commenting on it because sometimes we can say it and think, oh, it's a bit biased. But when the Ipswich Town fans, they're actually calling it out at the same thing. It's uh, refreshing to see. Uh, they wished as well for playoffs. Uh, yeah. If they want us to go up, they don't want his South Yorkshire neighbours to go up. Uh, they thought they were singing and dancing and they were winning the league kind of thing. So, yeah, a lot of respect to Ipswich Town fans. And I thank uh, thanked them all. I, I, I replied to them all. It's still going through now and I won't get around to you. Yeah. Um, also, a few sponsors. So, up to now, uh, Cast Construction was uh, supporting me right from the start, to be fair. Uh, we, you know, help it out with channel, and he also sponsors Michael Duff on match day programs. Uh, yes. If people uh, buy the program, we'll see Cast Construction also uh, uh, sponsors the gaffer Michael Duff. Uh, Brown Bear Comedy Club, uh, Reese, uh, again, another local lad who was wanting to, you know, make a send a comedian and trying to do a business. He's uh, carrying on and helping me out. Uh, NK Promotions, Box Fit, and the uh, NK Promotions Boxing at Metrodome as well. Neil Kirkwood, uh, ex-boxer. Uh, Again, thank you for your support. And last but not least, the last person up to now um, who's uh, forward and taking me on to next year and season, sorry, is uh, another lad called Reese actually, from HC Plumbing Limited. Uh, regular contributor uh, to the channel. Um, in financial terms, and it helps out for all upkeep. Uh, so up to now, when people have like come forward for next season, I really do appreciate it because it, it like, helps out with running behind costs yeah. and all editing and um, you know cost of living. I appreciate it, and every little helps. And it's all local businesses. Um, and again, I can give a little bit back and just be giving a little bit of air time. So I just wanted to say thanks for that. Yeah, it's brilliant. So yeah. yeah. Uh, cheers, Ryan. Um, yeah, I mean, coming on to MK Don's game, I mean, we, we touched on it, didn't we, against Ipswich, uh, Ryan? Mm-hmm. I mean, MK Don's away, last well, as I say, last away game in the league, buying it playoffs kind of thing. Yeah. MK Don's, uh, they knew, I think they were in playoffs last season as well, MK Don's, so again... It's third, mate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's third. A, 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 another team that knows what it's all about, and it's surprising this season what's happened, you know, it, Thought we might have been up here knocking on the door, but again, you never know what's going on behind closed doors and scenes. Any NK Don fans you can uh, comment and let us know. But I mean, going from the the game from it, which bad any injuries, but listening to Michael Duff for a few little niggles and this sort of uh, um, how do you see this game going, uh, Ryan? I mean, do you think um, it's going to make many changes? I, I, do you know? I don't know because if you read his his. Um... His match report talking about the game, uh, talking about you know looking forward to MK Don's game. He's sort of hinting that he might be playing mm. not a full strength squad. He's saying things like you know I want to be fair to I'll, I'll be fair to the league, and you know and talking about making the five substitutions. And if those five substitutions, you know those players weren't in the squad, they weren't they weren't good enough to be in the squad. So he mm. sounds like mm. he might make a few changes, um, mm. but with maybe players that are already on bench, so it, may, it might not be too drastic. Mm. But um, you know, is Luke Connell going to start? Because it was a sickness bug by all accounts, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, but he said he'd been for a run yesterday, so if he's managed to go for a run, he should he should be all, he should be all right. It might be one of them like twenty four hour things, but mm. you know, it's tough to, it, it can take it out of your sickness bug, can it? Especially if you, you know you're trying to operate at the highest level, you only need to be a few percent off for it. To, to Would you leave him on bench if it, if he will come back? If it if, if, if it I mean, if, if we can play, we should play him because we missed him mm. massively the other day. You know, to have us. Mm. The biggest game of the season, I was best player missing were uh, um, a bit of a kicking tease now. But, he, you know, bless him, he's, he's, he's played so well this season, he must have been absolutely gutted. 
they must have been absolutely gutted. Must have been cursing his luck <laughs> to get. A and if just Champa mentioned that, said it was a shame because uh, local colonel has got some rare reviews. But they're looking forward <laughs> to actually yeah. seeing him. To we, we missed him so. Look, I mean, John, you know, John Russell coming and done a job, but he's he's not match. You know, he's not hundred percent at match speed because he didn't get it in time as as. As Michael Duff alluded to, it's very difficult to change the starting eleven when they're, they're performing so well, especially especially yeah. in that position for Luke Connell. But it's just the way that he's like a he's like a ball in a pinball machine, isn't he? Bouncing around, mm. he, he flies, he chases everything down, and as soon as he picks that ball up, he's looking he's looking to move it forward. He's looking mm. to turn and get and, and run at defenders, and we didn't have that in Russell because uh, he's not that sort of player. Um, so if we, if he's fit, definitely. But if his efforts are slightly off, I'd probably put him on bench. Mm. Probably put him up bench, but I, 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 would you start um, Russell? Or would you start? Benson? I, no, I'd probably start Benson or or, mm. or or Luke Thomas myself. I thought I thought I thought they both. Ah, did it. I thought Benson did a good job when he came on against Ipswich. I thought he did, I thought, yeah, I really looked, appreciate I thought it. it looked really good. He looked he looked up for it, didn't he? It looked like he was going to yeah. try and make, try and make things happen. Unfortunately, game were probably gone by that point. But good to see his you know his attitude and application at that point to try and get back in. So. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure he might do. Um, I, I'm not so sure about making all sale changes, though. You know, we're only two no. games before playoffs. I think we need to get a, a winning squad together ready for playoffs as opposed to playing a slightly weakened squad so then everybody everybody's fit. I suppose it's that, it's that balancing act, isn't it? You don't want... But, you know, injuries can happen at any time, so... Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, for I'm me, not, I, I mean... But like what you said, Via, it's like... you. They've played a lot of games this season, uh, and I totally get that. You know, for, for your games, uh, 44 games at least, just alone, not including your Papa John's and your Carabao and all that kind of yeah. stuff, you know. So, and people say, yeah, but we've made changes in that. But we're still one or two players that have been playing in there as well. There is, yeah. Um, I can see him making some changes, but not to disrespect the league, because I don't think Duff would allow that to happen. because. No. And he said he I was. think he I think he touched I think yeah I think he touched on it as well. He said if fact look if I were in opposition and I was seen as a side being put out weak and I wouldn't be right impressed if we're down bottom at league I'd be thinking, well, hold on a minute. Yeah, putting a week inside out here like it's an unfair yeah. advantage. I won't fall to the done that. It's got to be fair to, to Oxford and Cambridge and stuff like yeah. that, to, to not, because obviously they're all scratch it's really tight down there. Markham as well, they're all they're all in and around that sort of yeah. fourth, third and fourth. You literally could throw a net round, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. So it wouldn't be fair to to feel the completely weakened team, and I don't I don't think it sets out the right sort of. Um, I don't think it sets the right attitude for the squad going into a you know going into a, a, a really difficult playoff semi final and potentially a final. I think we need to go in with winning mentality more than anything. Mm. I mean, um, I look at it like this. I mean, I'm just looking at the table like now. So let's have a look. Port Vale are on 49 points, two games to go. And then you've got Oxford on 44 points. MK Dunn's just starting it uh, with 43. Then it's 41 on, with Morecambe and Atkinson. Cambridge on 40. So, again, like we said, via literally throw a net over it. So, again, I don't think Michael Duff will do a weekend team. And like what you've said, via the players that have been coming on, off at five off the bench, and we have been calling it out, saying them five are unlucky not to be starting. So, it's not as if it's a week. It's not as if it's like playing... I don't know, five under 18 straight in kind of thing. Yeah. Like, well, last end of the season, where it was, long players had gone. We had no, basically, had no players once long players had gone uh, back to the parent clubs. Yeah. I can't see it being like that. I think if he's making changes, I mean, like I said, players, I think players, what we'd mention, it'd walk, probably getting first starting 11 anyway in, in any league one would be someone like Benson, Tedic, Luke Thomas. I think they'd walk into any first team starting level yeah. in any team. To be fair, I won't change. I won't change um, um, Cadden, even though there's a lot of cash option. I think Cadden needs some tight and some minutes in his legs after. Obviously, he's had a couple of games. Game. Yeah, but Van. Yeah, and he's, I think he needs some minutes in his legs. So I think it'd be good for uh, for Nicky Cadden to get at least at least 70, 80 minutes and maybe bring a lot of cash on at end. But there's potential. Mm. Maybe put Barry, uh, Barry Cotter in a at right back, maybe for John Williams. Yeah, true. Yeah, Jordan's played well. a lot of games, hasn't he? Mm, and he, I think he looks all right, me that Barry Cox. I think he looks all right, actually. Yeah, he looks, he looks, he looks a decent player. He, look, he looks to want to attack. Um, but I suppose we haven't seen nothing really to make a, a proper judgment. But wouldn't yeah. be a bad sub, though, would it? Cost no. starts and bringing Jordan Williams on second day. It's not, it's not no. a bad, you know. <laughs> as long as we don't play it really, we you know, I don't think we're weakening team 
hugely, or if at all, if you know, if we bring Luke Thomas and and, and Josh Benson in because they're both great players. You yeah, know, Benson yeah. were a, Benson were a regular starter last season in Championship, and we're all so, raving about Luke Thomas knocking goals. He was coming good, wasn't he? So yeah, yeah. So but we'll see what we'll see what he does up top as well. See what he does up top. Would you, I think he'll probably, probably start Tedic. I think he'll definitely mm. start Tedic. Yeah. Mm. I was surprised he didn't start Tedic the other day actually, but I thought Tedic. I'd like to see a Tedic Norwood combination. Eh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that's a good combination. I know calls like, you know, with goals are scored. No, I'm not saying all about that. But I just thought that game, and again, I'm not manager. I'm not, I'm, you know, Duff will see what he sees in training and making obvious calls for, you know, who are we to diss him before <laughs> Fitly? Mm-hmm. You know, we like saying we're nitpicking kind of thing. But it's, I think it's in every fan's opinion, you know. Uh, you probably said Tedic, oh. someone could say uh, so and so, so what isn't. So it's it's all about opinions, isn't it? Just being respectful and, you know, what you know what, what can we bring to the game in, in match day? Yeah, I'm not sure we've actually seen that really at any point. Have we, have we, seen, have we seen Teddy to Norwood together for, for an extended period of time? From start from starting 11? Yeah, I don't think um, we have from starting 11. Because Teddy's think, only I, started I, one, hasn't he? So I'm, uh, I, yeah, I, I don't it, think it, I have. Were it with Cole? Oh, no, no, he won it with a forest green, wasn't it? Yeah, Cole. Was it a forest green? They both started together. And they both scored it for the half. Right. So and Cole came on. Second, yeah, that's true. And Cole came on. That's it. I just think that Teddy is so strong and he holds the ball up really well. Um, mm. Like I said before, I think, I think it unfairly gets given a lot of free kicks against him just because he is so strong and he's, he's pushing yeah. defenders back in it. But I think that's just his strength more than his fouling him. Um, maybe seeing, you know, him holding the ball up for, 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 for Norwood and slot, slotting them through. I, it'd be interesting to see how that. Uh, how that might play out um, again. So yeah, unfair, I mean... free, unfair free kicks, and it were interesting that because even Ipswich Town fans were on about the refereeing, and I know we just go off a bit of subject here, but while we're on about you know league, it's yeah. in general it's sent and it's coming to last stages. It's surprising. I don't know what you're to come this Ryan. What football I've seen in League One, because obviously we're in League One. I like to keep my eye on it and see some mm. results and some highlights and that. There's, there's been some poor standard refereeing, and I'm not just slating any referee, but when you look at it on a, on a general, even if it's just town fans and some other fans have been come on, there's been yeah. some pretty poor decisions being uh, called being made. Yeah, absolutely. I, I've seen it every week because I, I like, you know, so I'll go on to other clubs' uh, pages and just see how re- fans are reacting. Because it's, mm. it's not, 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 for, not for bragging, because I, I, don't, I don't comment and stuff, you know, I'm not, I don't comment, but it's just a nice to, to see. That we're all the same breed football fan. We all we all set the same yeah. stuff when we've been beat. We all have the same whinge, yeah. you know, whinges and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, referees are getting mentioned an awful lot. An awful yeah. lot. Um across all the EFL, not just league, you know, not just league one, um, you know, championship and stuff. It, it, it's <laughs> listen, it's a very, very difficult job being a ref. I understand that. But you know, they paid a lot of money to get and and the, you know, the highly trained to get those decisions right. It's, get, it's about, they can't get everything right, but they need to get the key decisions right. And they're just getting things, you know, wrong. As well as Linos, as well as Linos mm-hmm. as well. There's yeah, true. Sense. So, yeah, yeah, I've seen an awful lot of it. I mean, it's very easy, in it, to, as when you get beat to blame ref. But, without it being a cop-out, the refs have been poor, mate. Really, we've seen yeah. some poor refs, haven't we, this season? What would your take on this be, man, Ryan? Because I... I thought about it, and again, people what's watching, let, let, let us know your comments, you know, fans from other, other clubs as well. I'd like to see, I mean, it's all down to EFL, EFL and that, I'd like to see a trial, uh, some referees being mic'd up, so for our benefit, or studio, you know, yeah. with VAR, obviously in Premier League got VAR, and even they're not mic'd up to the, the big speakers for the for the Premier League. I think that could be technically far to something like NFL, where they, they explain yeah. the reason behind it. Um, I'd like to see refs mic'd up, and I'd also like, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all human, we all learn by mistakes, we don't genuinely go out and do a cock up, or, you know, I yeah. like to think so anyway, but I'd like to see our managers get put under the microscope at the end of the press, and like, what's your thoughts about this, well, I didn't think it was that, and you could tell emotions are high, but I'd like to see somewhere that line being introduced where a referee had come out and explain, or not, I won't say justify, probably justify is the wrong word, but explain the reasons behind why he thought he saw it. And if he's made a mistake and said, Do you know what, I thought it was this and my hand's up and I apologise, I think there's a bit of a bridge there what the fans can like yeah. said, yeah, do you know what, he's understood it, he sees it now. 
let's move on. But I think when you get back, like, no communication from line or, or referee, or for official, it's like, I've done my job, I'm in car, I've gone out of ground. It's yeah, like, oh, it's like radio silence, minute. isn't it? And you don't, you don't get yeah. to, I mean, we don't even get to know if they've been, like, uh, demoted down a division because of a poor mm. performance, because of a mm. poor performance, which we know happens. Mm. Yeah. Um, or have they been rested for a few weeks because of a poor performance, because of missing key decisions? But mm. we don't get to know about that. And it'd be nice to even just get no, to know about that that happening. Um, mm. um, Do you think it's a... Do, it's a do, I won't say it's going to wave the magic wand, it's going to sort everything, fans are going to say, oh, that's all right, then, yeah. But I think it's that bit of... I want to say bridge building, but that bit of communication back to the fans. If you want the fans... It's, you know, it's all about the fans, fans being there, we don't want to be talking about a freeze. But if, I think it'd be nice if you know if it came out and if if it say I didn't see the handball, it like I, honestly I didn't generally see it. But like even look back on it now in real time or whatever, I've seen the replays. Yeah, you know what? I apologise. I, I really didn't see. It. I think yeah, you know what is it is it admitted or she's admitted? Yeah. You know, not being thing with like lines women kind of thing. But yeah, I think fans can like in my opinion anyway. I, I think fans would be. Let's sort. We can learn from it, Ben, and move on to the next game. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, I mean, it's a great idea, isn't it? Whether referees union are ever going to agree with it. I mean, That's is the is the next step to help us in this division? Is it to have VAR? I mean, I'm not a massive fan of VAR at all. I think it takes mm. takes too much away from game. But also, on flip mm. side, we've had so many bad decisions, and I'm sure it's not just unique to Barnsley. I'm sure there's been some stinkers for every single team in our yeah. division. <laughs> yeah. At some yeah. point in the yeah. season, I've had some absolute shockers. Yeah. Um, one of Ipswich fans brought up um, the in, in one of the comments, I think it was about the no goal that got given against us at their place. Yeah. Um, saying they thought that was a, a, a wrong decision. And it was harsh, like, wasn't it? It was an harsh decision. Yeah. But, you know, sure. things like that that are key in a game, maybe we do need VAR across all EFL. You know, yeah. I think it might be a huge investment by EFL, but do we need it? I'm sort of 50-50 with it, you know, because I knew it, I knew it helped make um, it dealt with some of them absolute stinkers, like the one against Burton, all the penalties that we never got given, you mm. know, the mad sending off against Bo Brist, uh, Bolton, sorry. Mm. All these sort of decisions that have been made that we could pro probably have had overturned and might have made a massive difference to a season. But also then there's the, the how much it affects the spectator's experience for me as well. Mm. So it's that, it's that, it's trying to find, you know, is it worth it or not? Because um, for me, you know, you see it in Premier League, and they score a goal, and sometimes it's like it's like a bit of a cheer till they wait until it's gone in, and then they do cheer yeah, after it's gone in. It. It's not yeah. the same, you know. It's not that's not the same. So, I suppose there might be some decisions to be made, but I don't, I don't, I don't think it's coming anytime soon. No, I think I mean, we're just gonna have to. So, I mean, realistically, of all these ideas that we might have and potentially have it, I think we're probably just gonna have to suffer with it, aren't we? <laughs> Realistically, we're probably, it, unfortunately, yeah. we're gonna have to suffer with with, with poor rests and um and just pray that if we do get through to the playoff final that we have a decent ref in playoff final. True. The last thing you yeah, want to be I... doing is coming away from that with a ref making a stinker. Be mortified, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's... Well, yeah. And for both sides to be fair, yeah, not yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Agree with that. Uh, and yeah, uh, my to come bad is that for right reasons, yeah, I'd have it, but I think sometimes you see it in Premier League, and I think uh, it should be news. I think sometimes the referee is too dependent on it, where they'll call it or it's going to VAR, and then it'll be radio down. Yeah, have a look at TV, and he goes running over to TV, and you know, it's going to like alter. I'm like, either leave it with linesmen on, oh, sorry, or if, if they're unsure when they're sat and we've got all slow motion cameras, nice, ever, yeah. just go with on field decision. And play on I, I, I don't get why they got why they ask ref to go to tell it. Aren't they supposed to be referees? That are in it? The same, the same yeah. people, it's, it's, it's qualified refs that are doing it. Yeah, I don't get why they ask somebody to go over to tell it. No. The if they've looked at it and they said, No, do you know what? Stick with your decision, you know, we can't really make a, a, a choice up here. It's supposed oh, to be it's on overturn. On the thing, isn't it? It's supposed to be to overturn clear and obvious errors, isn't it? Not, mm. and, and, and I mean, it's gotten better this season to be fair in Premier League. It's gotten a lot better yeah. this year in Premier League. But yeah. last season, it's almost like they were looking for somewhere, you know, work time. to click. They, they, they get it, you know, they'd score a goal and they say, ah, We better check this now just to see if we missed, you know, his toenail being offside, you know, and yeah. that, that, that just borders on ridiculous, you, you, you know, it's just ridiculous. And it's, I think it needs to be left to cl just clear and obvious errors, you know, otherwise, yeah. otherwise, if it's not, you stick with on field decision, yeah. 
offside by a shoelace, really. Wow. Yeah, uh, I mean, some yeah, of them, like, the did you see that? Did you ever see that one? I think it was first season it come in, it was season Leeds went up and they were playing away at Palace. And um, it was Bamford that got caught and, and he pointed to a lad where he wants it. It was just, yeah, just he, got he pointed where he wants it. His offside. feet are miles on side. The rest <laughs> of his body's miles on side, but they give his arm offside because he was pointing where he wanted it. Yeah. Point of where he won it, lads put it and he slotted it in. You just can't. That's just <laughs> ridiculous. That's what an awful. I mean, it's funny because he's lead, but it's a, what an yeah. awful decision, though. You know, you can <laughs> score a goal by your hand. <laughs> use of the of the um, of the technology. Anyway, um, yeah. So there you go. Uh, right <laughs> back to MK Dons. I mean, changes be, be both like kind of even could be a few changes, but not too weak inside. But just late, literally just give some. Pl- pl- uh, Players like yeah. a bit of a rest here. Um, I'm going. I, I, I could see Cotter coming in for Williams. Uh, yeah. I can't see it back three changing. I think midfield. No. no. If Connell, if Connell's still a bit queasy, a bit iffy, would you risk him? No. I'd probably start with Benson, like what, what you said there. And even yeah. if Connell's on bench, give him run out for 10, 15 minutes, see what he's like. Uh, we've got five subs. And only change I think I make apart from that up front, it'd be I'd I'd go Ted Norwood. Yeah, yeah, me too. I don't know what your what you'd be? Yeah, it's a good shout, that mate. It's a good shout. Yeah. Only thing I thought is 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 if we're going to play maybe Benson or or uh, Thomas in midfield, is to put them in attacking midfield roles. I think Adam Phillips could do a job in middle because big one in think for Adam Phillips. Yeah. That's, that's that's that that was my only thought, but. I think yeah. Benson would be fine. I think Benson would be fine in uh, in Connell's role as well because he again he's one of them players that wants to get ball back and turn around and, and make something happen, doesn't he? So yeah, same with Luke sure. Thomas actually as well, really. Hmm. Options so, there. So again, there's changes there, but not. I want to weak in changes. If I'm being no, honest, it's, it's, it's lads that play every week coming off bench, yeah. in it. So they're not. They're not. It's not like the the fresh into squad. I don't want mm-hmm. it to, you know, fracture squad too much, and it'd be too much, too much of a change. Uh, I don't think there'll be any change in goal. I don't think he'll bring Brad Collins in. No, but, uh, no. Harry Stead. Um So we'll see. And I, I mean, really, we should be getting a win somewhere. But what are you going score prediction wise, when Ryan? <sighs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say three 0 I'm gonna say three 0 Must remember my mate. I'm gonna say three 0 Must then, yeah. Yeah, three 0 Uh. I just think that we, can, we know we can do it, and you know, as on as on record has been fantastic. I mean, you know, yeah. as a way as well, go, goals and that. Again, I think it's going to be key starting off quick because obviously MK wanting to fight for the lives kind of thing. Mm. But in the same respect, I, I, I Duffel want to be good into the playoffs because we've got Peter coming up a week or Sunday, um, and they wanted to go back with right frame and mindset and everything. Because I mean, looking at Peter Brevet. You know, depending on how results go against Derby and possibly Bolton, they're clinging on for last spot in um, in, mm-hmm. in playoffs. So again, that could be a, a must win game for Peterborough come a week of Sunday to get in there. So again, yeah. it, it'd be another tough game, but um, but yeah, that's a free note. Same as you, Ryan. Um, I just think the players will want to bounce back, and if he does, you know, if Duff does make a few changes. I can't see it being a weak and change. It's going to be more a fresh impetus, a fresh pair of legs. And it's a look. Yeah. I think he touched on this and all. There's playoff spots and potentially a Wembley starting 11 place uh, yeah. up for grabs here. You go and show me and who knows? I mean, look at Ishted uh, or Eisted uh, come in. Uh, unfortunate for Brad at the time, but he's not, he hasn't looked back. And to be fair, yeah. like you said, there we had it. He's done no wrong, so it'd be unfair to. Absolutely, he's, been brilliant, he's, he's, been, you know? he's been, he's been, he's been amazing for me. I think he's been, you know, one of, one of the best signings all season. Or even though we only got him in January, but mm. you could understand, you can maybe understand, the, you know, a couple of changes like you mentioned about maybe resting a few legs because they've had Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday for the last two weeks, haven't they? So, yeah. um, you know, it's it's hard to maintain that level, isn't it? So, yeah, it it, it will be hard, and again. I think Duff will have it under control, as is with Devaney and rest is back to him, staff like Patterson. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, both going for free you now, uh, both going for a win, and let's hope we can carry it in uh, to, you know, week of Sunday, keep, I'm going to say next Saturday, but it's throwing it all out, mid, early kick-off and all against Peterborough. Yeah. So, fair play for them. Uh, so, yeah, Ryan, appreciate you taking your time out, mate. Uh, both going for wins. Uh, momentum, carrying it on, 
Les, you know your comments and thoughts about the referees, about VAR possibly, and other things like that. It's not just all about bounds. I like what Ryan said as well. There has been probably every team in league have had a, a rough call this season. It'd be interesting to get the thoughts on, you know, what what were it like last season as it as it declined a bit in um, in standards in, in leagues when you go down. Another uh, thing to talk about, but. Thanks for watching. Uh, safe travels to MK Duns. Uh, safe journey back. Come back to Yorkshire with uh, some goals and a, a win. We'll take that all day long. Mecca's uh, bank holiday weekend a bit more uh, sweeter. So, uh, Ryan, appreciate for joining me. Uh, please like, subscribe, share. I know you always do. One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>